The first impressions are everything, especially when it comes to art. The moment users layers in your application, they should feel welcome and intuitively guided. An attractive interface can set a positive tone, making users eager to explore further and trust the quality of the content within. Today, we dig into how to create a tutorial in your .NET Mobile applications to introduce and let the users know how to use it. Let's transform your application into a memorable experience for everyone who launched it. Today, we're going to talk about a new library recently released use the past week. Call it Maui.TutorialCourseMark. It's a library created by Felipe Baltazar. Regards, Felipe. Thanks for your contribution. And it's an interesting library that will allow us to create experience like this. So this is just the sample from the template, from uh, the template that creates a new Maui project. And as you can see, we have a, a experience that will allow us to get and will allow us to highlight elements from this user interface as we want. For example, we are highlighting here the Hello World uh, message. We can put a, a message under this other message. We can continue highlighting, for example, the click button with an explanation. And we can, for example, highlight another message. And the interesting thing is like the view that we can put to explain anything. It's uh, a 100% customizable view, so we can put any content that we want here with any format, any kind of, of content, explanations, image, etc. How we can create experience like that? So the first thing that we need to do to uh, use the library is add the Nugget package. The library is available on Nugget with the ID maui.tutorialcoachmark. So we need to create a project, go to Visual Studio, and then we need to go to a project and we can, uh, you know, manage the, the Nugget Package reference. So let me stop the compilation, manage Nugget Package, and we will search by tutorialcoachmark.maui tap the install button, we will install the latest version, that is the latest preview, and start using it. The next thing that we need to do is go to the MAUI program class and use the extension method use tutorial coach map that will initialize the library. We will see later at the end of the video how this library works in case you are interested in doing things like, I don't know, extend the library, contribute to the library, or learn more about it to do more custom things, like for example, create custom animations to highlight the element. And uh, here what it's doing is initialize uh, other contexts, like, uh, for example, be able to use custom pop-ups. So, okay, that's fine. And then we need to go to our view. And the first thing that we need to do is use the tutorial.enable tutorial property at page level. Of course, this is interesting to use with, for example, a local uh, database or something similar to just enable the tutorial just a single time, the first time that the user launched the application. But for now, we are using a Boolean tool to launch it every time that we launch this sample application. I'm using the sample application including in the library that at the end is used, the, you know, as we said before, the sample created by the Maui template just using the uh, tutorial library. The next thing that we have to do is use some attached properties. Tutorial dot tutorial order will indicate the order in which the elements, the notifications will appear, the order of the tutorial. This will be the first element that will appear. Then the next one will be the number two. And finally, the number three. We need to indicate what the parent, in this case is the page. And then the most interesting property is the Coach Mark View. This is a view property, so we can put here any content that we want from a single label to a more complex content, like for example, here we have a frame, we can use, for example, corner radius, we can use more than a single label, multiple labels, image, and any content that we want to showcase and to guide the user in introduce our application, or how to use it. So this is the necessary to use the library, just simple as that, use the Nugget package, initialize in Maui program, and then use the uh, tutorial attached properties to enable the tutorial at page level. And then every time that we want to highlight a part of the user interface, 
use the order, set the parent, I use the quote mark view. So that's all how this library works. So we have here also the code of the library and it's really interesting. The first thing that we have here is the tutorial binding class where the control is defined. We have here all the bindable properties that we have used before, like the Quatchmar view, Quatchmar animation, etc. Internally, every time that we create a new high class, is introduced in a new dictionary that at the end we are subscribing to the uh, page on a pin of the page. And here we get this dictionary and use a tutorial service, the instance of a tutorial service, to use a method called show tutorial async. If we go to this tutorial service, we have here this show tutorial async method. And internally, the library is using mop apps. Mop apps, if you don't know, it's another library that we have seen here in the channel. It's uh, an evolution of rg.plugin.popapps, plugin from Xamarin Forms. And the library is mostly uh, really interesting to display custom pop-ups in uh, your .NET Mobile application. You can manage a custom content. You can, uh, for example, manage the appearing or disappearing animation of the library, of the pop-up, etc. So this library initialized and get access to uh, initialized as we have seen before in the Maui program class. Here, initialize mop apps, and then here in the tutorial service, get access to it, get access to the dictionary, and use push new uh, pop apps as uh, we want in the order that we define in the tutorial order property. A really smart and interesting uh, usage of the uh, mop apps library to simplify and create something really interesting, like, for example, the, the initial tutorial of our application to introduce the user and let us know and share how to use the application. There are also some interesting parts more that we can see, like there is a base animation class, abstract class, that we have here with some interesting methods like animate, start and stop the animation. And then the library finds some custom uh, animations. We have seen before in the sample running a bit animation. And is this one, use scaling in and out the view and the interesting part is like we can create our custom animation or application just creating a class that inherits from the base animation class and overriding the animate and stop animation properties so we can create our custom animation to highlight our views and that's all short introduction video of the Maui tutorial Quatchmark library by Felipe Baltasar, really interesting library and really interesting usage of other libraries by the community. It's really interesting to see how the open source works in this way. Someone creates a library that could help and inspire other libraries and other libraries use these other libraries and everything is growing, growing, offering more and more possibilities. So really fun stuff, really interesting stuff covering an interesting gap. I would love to hear your thoughts of the library. Your feedback helps me to keep improving. If you enjoyed this video and are interested in seeing more reviews of open source libraries from the community, just let me know in the comments. Also, remember to hit the like button if you found the video helpful and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of the future tutorials and the tips. Happy coding!